Hello and welcome to Romany Reacts. This is my channel where I react and review to TV and films. I am so freaking poorly. <laughs> I'm so poorly. So we're just going to sit and watch Supernatural. We are on season eight, episode three, and it is called Heartache. And I'm probably going to sneeze continuously throughout this if i don't then i'd be amazed i've got tissue i've got a cup of tea oh sorry a bit close i've got a cup of tea and i am indeed in my onesie uh if you missed the last episode then go ahead and watch that we've obviously started season eight so quick recap dean is back from purgat purgatory he went to purgatory for a year in that time sam got a dog <laughs> <laughs> I love that little phrase. Crowley had kidnapped um, Kevin and Meg. We don't know what's happened to Meg. I assume Meg's just being tortured or whatever. Kevin, um, he had another tablet with the word of God about demons and he knows how to close the gates of hell. Enough of the chatting. Actually, I might just grab a blankie. But enough of the chatting. Let's get watching. This is Supernatural Season 8, Episode 3. And it is called Heartache. I might actually fall asleep as well. I don't know. I might do. And another dude is running, but one dude is running very fast. Congratulations. You're fast. I do a lot of cardio. Whoa. Oh, that dude just stole that other dude's heart. Nice. Love that. Love that for him. Jogger in Minneapolis gets his heart ripped out. It's another article from six months ago. Same thing happens, also in Minneapolis. Heart or at least being some sort stolen. Of heart sucking, possessed oh. satanic crack or bat. That apple looks absolutely manky that Sam's eating. What the fuck is wrong with that apple? Oh, that's a different apple. That's a different apple. He just had one and it looked absolutely mank and then it's changed. So we never found out either about the, like, Dick Raymond's like contaminating food is that just gone that's just stopped is that <laughs> seems so grumpy isn't he but his heart was ripped out of him like a peach pit okay a chubby guy last oh. person to see the big alive chubby guy so what makes you think he's clean chubby Demi chubby guy I, was uh, the one that stole that the heart <laughs> forgive well, me if i didn't take him out back and shoot him <laughs> Well, you should have, because he was the one that did it. So, Paul, he's making you himself a green. A I ran past him. I never saw him again. The end. <laughs> no, it wasn't. We saw you. You stole his heart. Good deal younger than you. Yeah, unless uh, 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 full figured. I had a health scare about a year ago. It changed my life. I mean, I started taking care of myself. Now your body's mm -hmm. a temple, huh? Where I worship every day. <laughs> His body is a temple that he worships every day. Why is why am I so dark? What'd you why find poking I... around at Paul? Camera no does bags, oh, nothing satanic. In time. <clears throat> so chubby heart stealing guy had a health scare. Well, Paul was here being questioned. There's no way that could have been him. This guy was a cop. He'd ordered a pizza which the Vic delivered. His body was found on the walk in front of Swenson's. And he wasn't wearing a heart. Ironically, he had been in court all week. So that couldn't have been him in Minneapolis. Whatever it is, it sounds like he's repeating it. What's he saying? I don't think it's going to steam. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Dean's patience with things like that. Hilarious. <laughs> what is he saying? He's repeating some phrase over and over again and literally is not wow super human oh good god what is he gonna do now is he gonna stab himself oh oh no that looks like it's gonna go in the eye or something i don't know where it went but that went somewhere it shouldn't have been going so what do okay you think? so sam's Personally, listening I prefer to the keith richards version i bought a translation app Okay, Dean's got a translation app. Language unknown. Ah. <laughs> Language unknown. Great, well done. <laughs> yeah, that sticky thing, he shoved it in his eye. 
Oh, he removed his eye. Nice. Why, why did he want to remove his eyes. eyeball? Yes. Oh, I didn't notice that. Was saved two, two different coloured eyes. This is the transplanted eye he chose to cut out. Okay, so he had an accident and he had a transplanted eyeball. So he cut that eyeball out. Okay, Dean's on it. Dean's like, oh, let's find the donated person. The donor person. I gather the donor person's dead, though. Arthur Swenson had an eye transplant Just a, a year normal ago, right? person would go, yeah, you can have my eye Paul and I'll have one eye less. about a health scare he had a year ago that changed his life. Okay, so we've got two suspects Ooh. and two identical murders. So I emailed an audio file of Arthur's mumbling to Dr. Morrison. Okay, so they think it's a language that that bloke he was muttering is a dead language. Loved your performance tonight. Uh-oh. Which one of these is the transplant? Transplanty? <laughs> Normally do this kind of thing. She's not going to believe you, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's going to... Oh, no, she's going to... Oh, Christ. Oh, okay, so she's pinched his heart as well. I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking. So what? I don't understand why Eyeball Dude killed himself. Well, he didn't kill himself. He pulled out his eyeball he stabbed his eyeball i don't understand what i don't understand what's going on <laughs> i'm not saying i'm bailing on you i'm just saying make room for the possibility <laughs> that we want different things oh gosh sammy's still so it doesn't i still don't understand why sammy left his girlfriend with the dog he just kind of upped and left her if he was so happy why did he leave did anybody from Boulder, Colorado receive any of those organs? Okay, so are all the organs from the same person? Paul Hayes' kidney and Arthur Swenson's new eye came from Brick Holmes. The all-pro quarterback. Indeed. Car crash last oh, okay. year. Yeah. Nose dived off a bridge or something. Did the doc say how many organs he donated? Eight. Eight. Okay, so he donated those two and then another eight more organs to different people. So then why are they... Oh. Oh. So that woman that's just nicked that other man's heart is now rubbing blood on her face. Mm, yum, because that's normal. And muttering those words again. Oh, please don't eat that. Oh, she's going to what? Oh, uh, chowing down on that heart. Mm, yummy. Oh, I'm really not in the good mind frame to see things like that today. Ooh, uh... Oh, glowy eyes. You know, Brick Holmes was my idol back in high school. Okay, so Sam and Dean have gone to visit Brick Holmes's mother. Do you know your son was an organ donor? There was a, a public awareness thing a few years ago. A lot of star athletes signed on. You know, I, I can't help but wonder what happened that night on that bridge. They're called accidents, I believe. Did you notice any changes in Brick before he died? No, no. So no new interests, fly fishing, stamp collecting, the occult? The occult. As for instance. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me someone had their heart ripped out here in Boulder. All right, then I won't tell you. Uh, yes, yeah, someone else's heart got ripped out in Boulder. So the mother is blatantly mm -hmm. some here, weirdo. Man. Look. You know well, I like to stay close to the her. mothership. I'm just trying to protect Brick. And so am I. Brick's heart beats inside here now. Okay. Is she the one that got the... Yeah, so she obviously got the heart transplant. We need each other, and Brick needs us. You keep our little secret safe, and the three of us will be just... The three fine. of you? Here's what crazy Arthur Swinson was babbling. It is a dead language. Okay, they... Mayan. They found out what that... The divine god Cacao was is born. rambling. Cacao? Cacao. Yeah, the Mayan god of maize. Corn, the big the crop. The divine god Cacao is, got, is born. Not a god again. Yeah, I got a name. Just email the cops. I've got another uh, email here. They too. seem to be one step you. ahead ish. From the university. Just something I'm looking into. Oh. You're seriously talking about hanging it up. Sammy's thinking about going back to uni. Eleanor Holmes was doing her damnedest not to tell us a thing. Sammy could still go back to uni, couldn't he? Do they not have, like, open university there where he could just study while he's on the road killing demons? Brick closet. Would he go back to uni to do but law? Been touching a year. They're looking through Brick's wardrobe. I don't know. Is this Eleanor's closet? Why would his mother's closet be in here? You sure? This is There's what women's clothes in his to. closet. Well, maybe she moved into Brick's room after he died. Maybe she's just using his wardrobe or, as well. 
Thanks, Dean. Now that image is permanently etched into my retinas. What image? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, what's Dean found? That's what I'm talking about. Is that a secret door? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, like a okay, the football secret, trophies like, I get, but there's a lot of other stuff here. All of his Baseball, stuff. Baseball, boxing. Any kind of athlete, he respected him. I mean, look at all the old stuff he's got. Why has he got all of that stuff? They're all the same. Old, Dearest old Betsy, stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Who's Betsy? Betsy? Who's Betsy? Dearest Betsy, third day of training camp, road work improving. They say this kid Sugar Ray is going to be tough. Is it Robinson? Didn't he box in like the 40s? Love me. So they found loads and loads of letters. Back to you. Dearest Betsy. Dearest Betsy, Le Mans will be a bitch this Betsy. year with all the rain. Signed from me. Who's Betsy? And who's me? Brick Holmes, football player. Charlie Collins, oh. race car driver. Oh my goodness. Kind of. They all look very similar. It's the same person. The Mayan jocks made sacrifices to cacao by, ready for this? Killing a victim, pulling out his heart, and eating it. So they reckon this brick dude making a deal with the god. Maybe the spell went along for the ride and infected the people who got his organs. At least he wasn't sleeping with his mother. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. So it's probably not his mother. It's, she's probably Betsy. Do you reckon she's Betsy? That's not his mother, that's his wife. What would you rather us call you, Betsy? <gasps> Ooh, hoo, Eleanor, hoo. innocent people are dying. Did you know about the murders over the past year? No, I didn't, I swear. When Brick died, it would be over. His Mayan name was Inyo. He lived for sport, so he arranged a bargain. As long as the sacrifices continued, we were deeply, deeply in love. When I found out that how my husband stayed young and strong, I chose to ignore it. When I got into my 40s, hmm. I became but his mother. Rick's mother. <laughs> she had to pretend that she was the mother. But I don't think he could bear the thought of life without me. That's why he drove off that bridge. Okay, so he killed himself. Is he not going to re-emerge? There are eight killers out there that we have to deal with. Brick used to say the heart was key. Are you saying that if, if we stop Brick's beating heart... Yeah, that girl. Our King Daddy monster is a stripper. What have they got to do? Have they got to stab her in the heart? Have they got to kill her? The bunny hole. Ooh. Uh, what the hell? Okay, so are they just going to go in there and kill her? Stab her in the heart? Oh, lights are on. She's going to come out. There she is. She's got the heart. Eleanor sent you, right? Oh, now you don't think we're going to let you do that, do you? Wait. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Oh fucking hell, they've all appeared. Oh, she's gonna steal Dean's heart. Nice, lovely. <gasps> oh, he's... quick, Sammy, where are you? Thank you. Quick, Dean. Oh, did he get her in the heart? Oh, she's. Oh, does that mean everyone that had a piece of brick? An organ donated from him will would have died. You take care of yourself, Eleanor. Dean, listen, when this is over, when we close up shop on Kevin and the tablet, I'm done. Oh Really? Sammy reckons as soon as he finished they've finished their what they're doing, he's done. He wants a normal life. If Sammy left and didn't do it anymore, do you think that Dean would get somebody else? Sammy's having a little flashback of Amelia and the dog. Riot! Happy birthday! <laughs> Aww. Oh, she made Sammy a birthday cake. So why did he leave her? And he left her before he even knew that Dean was back. Why is that sun so bright? Anyway, if I sit back here, all the way here, then that's fine. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Uh, that was the end of that episode. So Sammy reckons he's going to give it all up. And what is he planning on going back to Amelia and the dog? He's just left her. Dean didn't really talk about purgatory or what was going on. It was a god. A god and it was organs and eating hearts and all that loveliness. So great, love that. Uh, yeah, so anyway... If you enjoyed the episode, then let me know down below and I will see you all for the next one. Bye!